Imagine driving on a massive bridge where temperatures plummet to minus 15 degrees Celsius and hurricane force winds can strike at any moment. A bridge so challenging that one mistake could send 2,000 tons of steel cables crashing into the freezing waters below and have you killed. This is the Haligoland Bridge, the longest suspension bridge ever constructed within the Arctic Circle. Soaring nearly 600 feet above the Norwegian fjord, it's being built by an elite team of engineers who have only one chance to get it right. But how do you construct a mile-long suspension bridge in one of the most hostile environments on Earth? And can it be completed before the deadly Arctic winter shuts everything down? Let's find out. Deep in northern Norway's Arctic Circle, the industrial city of Narvik has a deadly problem. To reach northern destinations, its 14,000 residents must navigate a treacherous 11-mile winding road that hugs the edge of a fjord. This killer commute claims lives every year. Rockfalls, landslides, and winter ice make this route one of Norway's most dangerous stretches of highway. The road around the fjord is extremely dangerous, especially in winter. The Norwegian winters are nowhere as close as the ones in the US, UK, or even Australia. Believe me when I say, they're deadly. There have been many crashes and fatalities on this road over the years. To save lives and cut commute times, Norway is investing $332 million in an ambitious solution, a suspension bridge that will slice straight across the fjord, cutting journey time from 30 minutes to just three. But building in this remote Arctic location presents challenges that would terrify even the most experienced engineers. The question isn't just, can they build it? But can they build it before the brutal Arctic winter? shuts everything down? It is now the year 2013, and the team has exactly five years to complete the project, miss their window, and costs could skyrocket by millions of dollars. Project manager Dagron Kassen leads a team of 900 engineers and workers from across the world. It's quite a challenge to build bridges in this part of the world. The dark time of the year, all kinds of weather. But altogether, with an amazing team, this seemingly impossible project will become reality under the firm hand of Kassen. This green line indicates where we are building a new bridge, and it means that we will have a much more safe road, a shorter way, and we don't have to use this old one that is exposed for rock slides. But before we see if they succeed, let's understand exactly what makes this engineering challenge so extraordinary. The Haligoland Bridge will stretch almost one mile across a fjord that's 980 feet deep. Twin A-shaped towers built from over 42,000 tons of concrete will rise 566 feet from the mountainside. That's taller than the Washington Monument. Two massive cables, each weighing 2,000 tons and measuring more than 1.5 feet thick, will support a dual-lane road deck made of 30 custom-designed steel sections. Structural engineer Jamal Assad has devoted a decade to perfecting the bridge's design. Not one inch of its area is being constructed without his approval, akin the famous Swiss clocks. The bridge will improve the whole infrastructure in this uh, region. I've been working on this bridge for almost 10 years to create something unique, not just for this area, but also around the world. But what makes this suspension bridge different from others is how it must be anchored. Rather than traditional concrete foundations, the team will drill 150 feet directly into the heart of the Norwegian mountains on either side of the fjord. The mountain itself becomes part of the structure, a natural anchor of unparalleled strength. But will it be enough to withstand the most punishing weather on Earth? The Arctic environment is brutal. Temperatures regularly drop below minus 15 degrees Celsius and winds can reach a staggering 80 miles per hour, enough to tear apart an improperly designed bridge. In 1940, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge in Washington State dramatically collapsed after winds created violent oscillations in its deck. Could the same fate await the Haligoland Bridge? With the narrow deck, you're working on the edge of aerodynamic stability. The wind creates curls, and you can have the bridge undulating up and down. This process, called vortex shedding, creates deadly oscillations that can tear a bridge apart. To prevent this catastrophe, the engineers designed the edge of the deck with a special aerodynamic shape that smooths the flow of wind and reduces these dangerous air vortices. 
But designing for wind is just the beginning. The real challenge comes when they attempt to construct this monster in the face of nature's fury. Building the Haligoland Bridge involves a series of precisely sequenced steps, each fraught with danger and complexity. One simple mistake, and there could be death. First, the team must erect the massive A-shaped towers. To build at record speed, concrete expert Gutor Raider employs an ingenious technique called slip forming. You can reach about two and a half to three meters each day, and you work 24 hours a day. Workers fill a special mobile mold with concrete. Once each layer sets, hydraulic jacks raise the mold up to pour the next level, allowing the towers to grow eight inches at a time, 24 hours a day, for an entire week. Over 32 months, spanning from 2013 through the harsh winter of 2015, they raised the towers to their full 566-foot height, pouring 32,000 cubic meters of concrete in the process. Next comes the most critical and dangerous phase, installing the bridge's mammoth 5,774-foot-long main cables. Each cable consists of 40 strands, with each strand containing 127 individual steel wires. Using winches and pulleys, workers drag each 50-ton strand one by one up and over the tall towers. But disaster strikes when they're less than halfway complete. Site engineer Uwe recalls the moment. The west cable was actually blown over to the east cable and hitting the other cable. It was a dramatic situation. The team was quite scared for the bridge and that the wires were damaged. The team evacuates as hurricane force winds batter the bridge. One worker describes feeling the massive concrete tower swaying beneath his feet. With construction delays costing $100,000 per day, this setback threatens to push the entire project over budget and past deadline. But when the winds subside, the team regroups with renewed determination. After installing all 110 vertical hangar cables, the team confronts a critical engineering puzzle. The main cables sit just 10 feet apart at the towers, but the road deck is 61 feet wide. Their ingenious solution? Use hydraulic jacks to push the massive 2,000-ton cables outward until they're 51 feet apart at the center of the bridge. Today is a big day. We have seven shipping bins and we have 40 people on the site. Now we are ready to shift two main cables. It takes around 30 tons of hydraulic force to move each cable, just 3.9 inches per push. The team must repeat this process multiple times to achieve the correct spacing. But just as they're making progress, the Arctic weather intervenes again. Rising winds force the team to abandon the operation and seek shelter. With the winter of 2017 rapidly approaching, the clock is ticking. They must install the entire road deck before temperatures plummet and winds become too dangerous for construction. To lift the 250-ton deck sections into place, the team brings in Norway's largest floating crane, the Ugland. Its giant lifting arm soars nearly 400 feet high and can lift nearly 800 tons. Steel engineer Kurt Gunstad supervises the deck installation. The first lifting is a challenge because if the segments start waving, it can hit the catwalk. We have a lot of people here working, so they need to be very, very careful when lifting. The team must connect at least three sections within a narrow window of calm weather, or the deck won't be stable enough to withstand the incoming storms. After 72 exhausting hours, they make their deadline, installing 750 tons of steel deck, enough to survive an Arctic storm. Finally, after weeks of wind delays, the moment of truth arrives, the installation of the final deck section to complete the bridge. Will the two sides of the bridge perfectly align after years of construction? It's the year 2018. We are finished. Today we can start walking from the north side of the bridge and go over to the south side. We have been looking forward to this moment for a long time. For the first time, the team walks the entire length of their creation, a journey that symbolizes the new connection they've forged for the people of Narvik. The Halogaland Bridge joins an elite league of engineering marvels that are transforming impossible terrain around the world.
While Norway conquers the Arctic with the Haligoland, other nations are pushing engineering limits in entirely different environments. In India, the Chenab Rail Bridge stretches 1,315 meters across a deep valley, standing 359 meters above a river, higher than the Eiffel Tower. While in China, the Hujiang Bridge soars 625 meters above a canyon that's almost 200 meters higher than the Empire State Building. But what sets the Hologoland Bridge apart is not just its Arctic location, but the actual speed with which it was completed despite nature's most brutal obstacles. I know five years don't seem to be a noteworthy achievement, but here we're building real bridges in dangerous places, not some hobbyist Legos. For the residents of Narvik, this engineering marvel means much more than an impressive statistic. It means safer travel, shorter commutes, and new opportunities for economic growth. By the way, I'm sure you remember Narvik from the movie with the same name which was released on Netflix in 2023. If you haven't watched it already, I don't want to tell you more. But there's a famous important bridge in the movie too. The action is set in the 1940s. Getting back to the present day, this bridge means that Narvik finally has a say in their development. It connects the people directly to Europe, and the entire region is excited to have this bridge open. The Halogaland Bridge stands as testament to human ingenuity in the face of nature's most extreme challenges. When engineers refuse to accept limitations, even the Arctic Circle can be conquered. Tell me, would you drive across a bridge built in one of Earth's most hostile environments? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see more incredible mega buildings, check out our videos on the world's biggest and most dangerous constructions. Most importantly, do not fall to death on the Haligoland Bridge.